by thunderstorms every single day, winds get fierce. The anchor road wrapped around the keel. That's the anchor road going underneath the boat wrapped around the keel. So I thought I'd take some time to talk about this. a regular kind of circumstance the wind is uh, indifferent not so much of a factor but the current's mainly the factor when you're anchoring here so you're anchoring with the current in this river and, and then let's say this is the weather front usually when a weather front comes through the wind will shift right before it hits you the wind will shift directly from the front so let's say the front comes from the opposite direction that you're anchored in and this is where this situation could also occur of this irregular swinging around and then once the wind eventually dies back down is when the keel wrap can also occur. So your boat's kind of like in this neutrality, doesn't really even know which way to swing. In this case your boat's going to pull into the opposite direction that you set in and in this scenario you're more likely to drag. You can see here the wind was blowing starboard and the current's actually going port. It may be hard to see, but you can tell by the white bubbles. Solutions to this problem are have an anchor road of all chain, use an anchor weight, use a two anchor technique. Special weather statement. Significant weather advisory for Northern Clay, Northwestern St. John's, Duval, and Southwestern Nassau counties until 7 o'clock p.m. at 6.13 p.m. Doppler radar was tracking a line of strong thunderstorms along a line extending from near Bryceville to 6 miles southwest of Maxville and moving east at 30 miles per hour. Gusty winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour can't be expected along with possible minor wind damage. San Marco, Oakley, Plantation, No Katie, Durban, Switzerland, Fleming. Here we go again. Round 100. Back to why I hate opposing wind and current. We got keel wrapped just in time for this freaking storm coming in here. In order to get it out, attach the fender to the road, toss the whole freaking anchor, road anchor chain, all detached from it overboard and This one's looking like it's passing pretty quick. They're all moving out around 20 knots. It's mostly most severe below Jacksonville. And luckily we're a little bit above Jacksonville. Quite an interesting anchorage we are uh, at today. We chose this one because these thunderstorms keep rolling through. We left at about 6.30, 7 a.m. Uh, from uh, Pine Island and uh, in hopes to get as far as we could before these thunderstorms came in. And yeah, they came in fast. They came in around 1.30 p.m. So we got barely five to six hours of travel time just let out I just re did the whole anchor everything anchor road 
Kind of got to clean out the anchor locker a little bit too. I reset our anchor callet. See, I kind of think that we keel wrap because uh, originally I had to set the anchor callet a little bit short of um, how much I wanted to let out. So you shouldn't really have your anchor callet. I don't know. I don't think you should have your anchor callet out uh, too far from. I don't know where that's gonna be touching the bottom. You don't want to just drag it on the bottom because it's barely gonna do anything. Uh, so I put it a little bit closer to where I cleaned it off, and uh, in hopes of that not happening in the middle of the night. But yeah, interesting anchorage we're at today. We're on the St. Johns River. Um, kind of reminds me of our anchorage when we were on the uh, just outside the uh, uh, Chesapeake and Delaware Canal, and. Uh, reminds me of it because it's a lot of current it's, it's very deep it's about 20 to 24 feet depth so you have to have a lot of scope out especially with these thunderstorms coming through so I have about 160 feet I'd say for around an 8 to 1 but yeah it reminds me of the uh, Chesapeake and Delaware Canal because the current we're in a big huge river and these massive ships, here's one coming through right now. These massive ships just come rolling on through. A little bit eerie being next to it. Being anchored next to this like huge shipping lane, but really shouldn't be a problem. We've we've done it before. And uh you know as long as you don't drag into the uh into the channel, that'd be pretty horrifying. <laughs> Yeah, so got us fairly close to the shore. This is a recommended anchorage on the ICW. Rockna design. Let's see if it drags. We seem to be dragging. We're dragging. We're dragging. We're dragging. We gotta get back out there.